Welcome to Renaissance Charge Videos. I'm Rick Friedrich and here's another video on my battery chargers, the Renaissance Chargers. And so what we have here is a bank of 248 volt golf cart batteries that um, that were really impossible to deal with. Um, so what happened was this customer never used them. He sat for about four years, maybe more, maybe five years unused and so they were really sulfated about as bad as you can really find them and because they were never charged that posed another problem so initially we tried it on the the rejuvenator which we have going right now and they didn't really come back uh, they were not responding they were just it was like going through uh, marble yeah it was pretty bad so what we ended up doing was using a variety of our chargers the uh, um, 1AU charger, which really didn't work out very well um, for these size batteries, and then the 10 amp charger. Uh, but first we did the uh, alarm chargers, so we're still working on some of these batteries uh, that were actually shorted at one point and damaged, and they're um, posing a special problem there. But uh, we ended up bringing them up enough to receive some kind of a charge and what happens is you can't get through the sulfation it's so thick and it prevents you from charging the plates so you have to um, break that down and so if there's still a little bit of surface area that you can reach in the plates um, you can work with that and so with this little alarm charger here you can leave it sitting for months um, and actually it took several weeks for each one of these to respond and uh, the good news is the first batch which is around the corner there um, after we brought them back somewhat with these other chargers that were smaller like the alarm charger and then we went to the 2A12 and the 10 amp charger um, and it really uh, helped them a lot so then once we got to that point, we put them on this uh, rejuvenator and we went through the regular cycles and it uh, came back to 100%. And um, due to the time constraints, I wasn't able to uh, continue it on, but we got up to full capacity after three cycles once we were ready with to go with this charger. So. Hopefully we'll bring back um, most of these batteries. There was some damage. Um, there was some kind of short on at least five of them. So they may not come back because they were uh, internally damaged. So what, what happens with the rejuvenator, for those who don't know, it has both a charge mode and a, a cycle mode. And the cycle mode actually discharges it down to eight volts. As you can see, um, here the voltage is 9.29 and it's kind of relative voltage because it's um, between the charger and the batteries is a somewhat of a, a voltage drop on the display only um, so it's not quite accurate in um, exact voltage um, on the extremes the really high and the really low voltage but anyways, what it does is it starts off by loading down the battery first in cycle mode and then it will charge it back automatically and it will measure how many amp hours, uh, how many minutes it took to get to 10.5 volts on this 12 volt bank here. And then it will um, charge up like normal and then it will load it down a second time and it will measure the uh, volts over time and there's a resistance values depending on the uh, settings 1, 2, 3, and 4 will determine the amp hours uh, the volts over amps over time gives you uh, the amp hours and they have to remember the C rate also the C rate is the hourly rate so in this case if it was running 5 hours um, then we have to consider the amp hour reading at 5 hours not the 20 hours so you have 
various C rates in your batteries to determine the capacity. So, so far, um, we brought these batteries back to um, the amp hour rating at the five hour, um, six hour rate of discharge what the batteries are rated for. So that's really good news because these would be junk to the owner um, who brought them to me. And I did this for free. I don't ever charge people to uh, bring back their batteries. Um, it's always something I do um, not as a business, never charge anybody ever for restoring their batteries. But anyway, um, so again, what this does is it cycles um, through load, charge, load, charge, and it compares the one from the other so that um, once it, it uh, evens out, so that means once it, like say you had 200 amp hour on the battery on these golf carts, and then the next cycle it went through and it was like 201, it would stop at that point because it wouldn't be a significant gain. Um, so we can see still keep seeing gains on these cycles but there's a point where you got to stop it because you need to use your batteries and you just don't want to keep doing this forever but anyway I went through three cycles and I stopped it because I need to move on through the whole bank there's 16 batteries here to work with and um, so what I'm doing also is I'm logging it in my computer and I've shown that in previous videos I don't need to go over that but there's a uh, port here that goes to the computer and I'm logging it so that I can show the customer hey the battery gave well in this case it was sitting at like one volt the batteries and they were not able to do anything even for a second um, so but we could see once I brought them up the gains um, you know the worst case scenario I ever saw was 37,000 or no, 67,000 percent increase between cycle one and cycle two and uh, so then it will just stop once it's determined that there's not a significant amp hour gain and then the green light will come on and it will go through one charge to make sure the batteries are fully charged so we did that with the first battery bank we're going on to the second so far we cycled it once and it gave promising actually it's still well it's it's done reading it's um, amp hour ratings right now because it's in the low discharge mode so in other words we go below 10 and a half volts because we want to deeply discharge the batteries we're not worried about even if we wanted to go down to zero with this battery charging technology the batteries gain over time they don't lose capacity with this technology so um, we deeply discharge it and we actually gain a lot of capacity in the lower and upper end throughout the whole battery range. So normally you don't use a battery in the really low range, like below 10 and a half volts, but for electric vehicle, for a motor generator um, and such, you might want to use it lower uh, than the typical inverter uh, ranges that you would, you would find. Normally a battery will just drop off at that 10 and a half volt 10 volt range and there's no real capacity but but we can see the um, it's almost a, a linear discharge uh, on the graphs over time I mean there's some various peaks but uh, it's pretty much with this technology you gain the capacity um, you start with a higher voltage and you go down the line um, with higher capacity all the way down line so you can see a battery gain double the capacity if you consider all the way down to zero anyway it was good news to see these batteries at first I wasn't sure because I wasn't getting any response and uh, but I just really wanted to do this for the customer and um, I think they'll be happy because that's a lot of money in these batteries r relatively low electrical cost I mean I don't need uh, to pay for electricity so it doesn't matter uh, but at any rate, uh, to do that normally, maybe cost a dollar of electricity to restore, you know, hundred fifty dollar battery, and that's nice. So yeah, so that's 
um, something, a combination of the chargers. Once in a while we do that. Sometimes I put them on my motor and I'll just run a, a, a battery that's not responding at all for like a couple of months. Just leave it on a little tiny motor, gener uh, our energizer motors. And so then the alarm charger is doing the same function. It's also, actually in this case it's our uh, UPS charger, or uninterruptible power supply. And I think I've talked about that in another video, but this um, is actually being powered by the UPS system there, and it's not being used as an alarm system in this case, it's being used as the UPS. So it is responding, um, and it's a very important proprietary technology to uh, do this, but they're not all the same, these chargers, they, they really um, do different things. They have different kinds of charging in them, so with the combination I'm not trying to make big sales here, I'm just trying to say for those who have um, these chargers and um, I'm just giving some ideas of how to work with it. So what we saw here, and this is why I started the video at this time, because I knew it was going to switch over. So in this case, um, it's charging back up now. It's finished, it went down to 8 volts. Now that was true 8 volts. Um, the display is a little bit off here. I just got to turn it, and of course my LED is <laughs> is uh, reversed here. I've got to switch that over. But but anyway, there's a little potentiometer inside of here that adjusts the voltage on the display. But that's just relative. Anyway, uh, you can use these chargers in these ways when you have a really bad case. This is not your typical case. I rarely find this sort of thing. Uh, maybe something that's been sitting, you know, for four years in someone's garage, hopefully not frozen. If it's frozen and sitting, then it's going to be ruined for sure. But if it's not completely frozen and completely discharged, um, and it's been sitting, you may be able to bring them back. So in this case we did, I'm happy to say. Um, so. I guess that's all there is to say in this video. I just want to make it short, and uh, I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.